Every year around the holidays, everybody asks me, what do you like to do? I love Christmas goose, but not everybody can cook Christmas goose at home. So we're gonna do Christmas duck. What we're gonna start with here is a Liberty Farms duck from Petaluma. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take and tie around this neck. I always double knot, because this way I don't need a friend to come and hold it for me. Why tie a knot in the neck? Peking duck, everybody knows it. Everybody, well, I love it, I don't know about you. Because of that beautiful crispy skin, how do they do it? Well, they would take billows, billows that they would use for the fire and they would insert it into the duck frame and puff it up. Billows are a thing of the past. Not many of you have fireplaces anymore, but I'm pretty sure you got one of these. Classic bike pump, wrap this in plastic wrap. I'm gonna push the wing tips behind and make it look like they're hanging out and they're cool. So now I've got a cool duck, right? See, arms back. I'm gonna take this pump, put it in here. I'm holding air in, watch. Watch what's gonna happen. There we go. So you can see how the skin separates from the breast meat, and it's also puffing off the legs. What I want is to free all that fat. So when it roasts, the fat is basically rendering out onto the meat, but not actually cooking the meat. And see, look at that, woof. We're gonna take off that little knot. Nobody likes overly fatty duck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and trim it. And this is beautiful fat here. I'm gonna cut the neck. So what I do is I separate the neck meat and bones from the skin. Here, this area right here, I'm gonna trim off some of this fat so there's in internal fat that's gotta come out. One and two, right there. So right here, right here, and then I'm gonna trim the Pope's nose. When I grew up, that was the treat, the Pope's nose. We're actually gonna cook that in the pan. We're gonna truss these legs up. Again, we're gonna do that double, okay? Cross, cross your legs. And then we're gonna let this come to room temp. So it's really important when you're roasting duck or roasting any meats, you wanna bring the temperature to ambient temperature so you're roasting it evenly. We're gonna season it now so it sits. Kosher salt, hold it straight up, and I'm gonna go down into the carcass. We're gonna do shake and bake. I've created a special tool. I take some sewing needles and I insert them with the thread end into the cork. I'm gonna prick the skin, allowing fat to come out, but also allowing seasoning to go in. We're gonna season this guy. Kosher salt only, fresh ground black pepper only. I have some beautiful orange thyme with orange. Cut it in sixths. Take the back of a knife, because I want the most flavor out of this thyme, bruise it. In with the thyme, in with the oranges. The duck now has been sitting out for about 30 minutes, becoming ambient temperature. Now the key for me here is rendering out the fat and starting an even caramelization and even cooking process. So I'm gonna start it backbone down. And what I'm gonna do is add in the neck fat and the internal fat. I have a nice cast iron pan. The cast iron works really well because it, it makes for an even heat. As the duck's roasting, I wanna impart flavor into the fat. So what I have is a head of garlic, magically split in half. Open side down. We're starting to get some nice color there. So it's time to turn the duck onto its side. And I utilize the fat and the neck piece to hold it upright because I'm searing the leg. We're gonna do it again. I'm gonna flip it, do this over there, over there, and then do the same thing again. Heating it in different areas without overcooking the breast. The wing is holding the breast away from the burner. And you can see it's sizzling right here. That's the key, that's what I'm looking for. Sizzle. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna add the orange thyme and then an orange. To me, Christmas has citrus, oranges, tangerines, mandarins, satsumas. So right now I'm taking this hot rendered fat Pouring it inside the cavity. Searing all those herbs inside. Cooking it from the inside out a little bit. There we go. So, in a convection oven, 500 degrees. Breast side down, presentation side down. While it's cooking in the oven, I'm gonna prepare the sides and dive. So I want quarters. Citrus, and we're gonna cut these into sixth. 
I like to cut out that bit there. I'm gonna pull my duck. I flipped it over. I'm gonna actually put it in the oven just for a minute longer, skin side up again, dry out that skin and get it a little crispy. It'll take about two more minutes. But what I wanna do first is take a little bit of that fat from the pan, and use that to cook and caramelize all my vegetables. I think undive is a little bit underappreciated as a vegetable. I'm caramelizing it, getting a nice sear, and you can see it's wilting out ever so beautifully. Adding in the citrus. All I'm trying to do here is make sure that I have even color, Beautiful French tarragon. I'm gonna add my duck sauce. The duck has now been resting for about 15 minutes. First, I wanna take off the string and I'm gonna dump out any of the residual stuff in the carcass. Now it's break her down. I'm cutting down the back, removing the spine, and all the backbone. Straight through the breast. Perfectly cooked. Sauce has now been simmering. Now we're just gonna drape her down the middle. I'm gonna follow up with the citrus, a little bit of flake salt, and there you go. Christmas duck with orange and a bit of endive.